So this is the story of how I became a musician, or why I've been able to avoid working for all this time. Uh, a number of circumstances that led to my becoming a player and a musician. One is I was a little kid in Champaign-Urbana, Illinois, and I was going to see a Marx Brothers film festival at the Thunderbird Theater, which is now a rock and roll club. And uh, I was walking in, and to the left, later it was on the right, but at the left of the entrance was a guitar store called Axe in Hand. Uh, I didn't really know anything about guitars, but it was this sort of Wayne's World moment where uh, all of a sudden the skies parted and a beam of light came down from the heavens and there was this incredibly beautiful object in the window and I was just drawn to it and, and brought to it on this sort of tractor beam so I sort of floated into the store and I said, what is that? And there was Skip Paul who was a wonderful guy. He was sort of our local Mark Twain. He had a Mark Twain mustache and he, was a, he had a Mark Twain sense of humor. And uh, that young man is a Fender Precision Bass. Wow, it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I remember exactly what it looked like. Um, and I think that was a moment. If, if he had said, go away, kid, don't bother me, or, you know, everybody knows that's a bass, maybe I would have been discouraged and become a physicist and had a real job instead. Uh, so that was moment number one. So I, I bothered my parents incessantly to let me be a bass player. Another thing that happened was I went to an opening dance for uh, a school that I was going to, and a band played there. And I just remember how much the bass shook my shoes and stomach, and I thought that was a wonderful thing. So that was something else that made me want to become a bass player. And it was oddly the uh, band that was before the band that I've been in for the last 33 years. Uh, the band I've been in is Captain Rat and the Blind Rivets, and that band was called Headband. Um, that and a song by Led Zeppelin called Ramble On, which has a fantastic bass part. All those things combined to make me want to be a bass player. You know, I'd taken music lessons before that with little success. Uh, it took some convincing, but eventually my parents rented me a, a bass, a plastic bass, and a, a little amp by a company called Kalamazoo. And I went to the House of Baldwin to take lessons. And I had a hippie instructor. They didn't have any bass teachers, so I got a hippie guitar instructor instead. And I remember at one point in, this is 1970, I remember at one point in the lesson, uh, the line was, okay man, dig this. Cosmic vibrations, man. That was part of the lesson. Um, I also remember in my first lesson, since he was a guitar player, not a bass player, he, the first thing he was going to do was show me how to tune it. And he kept tuning and tuning and tuning. The string kept going higher and higher. And then suddenly it snapped. He was trying to tune the bass to guitar tuning, which is supposed to be lower. Um, so the other major event that led to my being a bass player was, I think I'd had three weeks of lessons. I sort of knew which end of the bass to blow into and, you know, that you moved your fingers up and down the strings. And that was about what I knew. A friend of mine was a trumpet player in the Edison Junior High School Jazz Band, and he called me up and said, we need a bass player. Okay, so I took my little plastic amp. And by then, we'd bought this bass guitar, which is uh, an Epiphone uh, version of a Gibson EB-2. A fantastic instrument. We paid $50 for it at the time. And uh, so I took my little tiny amp and this bass and went to their rehearsal. I couldn't read music at all. They put music in front of me, and I sort of thumped along while they were playing. And they just about fell over themselves, they, as if I were the greatest bass player that had ever lived, because the guy before me who played electric bass didn't have an amp. So the fact that they could hear any bass at all meant that I was Jaco Pastorius. And uh, I got a lot of positive reinforcement from that. I actually managed to stay in the band somehow. And I think maybe that uh, you know, a small amount of work with a large amount of reaction from it is something that, that has carried me as a bass player uh, through all this time.